Hey, G.E. Smith here for Fender. I've been a Fender guy my whole life. My mom got me this guitar when I was 11, and uh, somehow I held on to it. A lot of other stuff came and went, but this one's still here, and I'm sure glad of it. Um, I just used this guitar a whole lot uh, to make a record with a buddy of mine named Leroy Bell, a great singer-songwriter. He comes from Seattle. And uh, we got together in January of 2019, and he had this song called America. And it's really good. If you, uh, I think anyway, if you, if you go on YouTube or any place else, check out America, G.E. Smith, Leroy Bell, the band's called Stony Hill. Uh, I think you'll like it. You'll hear this guitar and several other guitars. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I went nuts, you know, and, and couldn't resist a good, uh, good telly when it came along. One of the things that I really love uh, about a Telecaster is that you can play anything on it. You know, any any kind of music. Uh, you, uh, guys like Ted Green, you know, amazing jazz stuff. Uh, something that I always love to play. There's there's a great Charlie Christian piece. You know, Charlie Christian was was really the the first electric guitar player who kind of got an electric guitar when they first came out in the '30s and knew what to do with it. You know, he really knew what to do with it. And uh, he he played this this piece called a smooth one with with the Benny Goodman band. And it, and it kind of goes like, like this. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so you can get that kind of sound on a Telecaster or same amp, I didn't change anything, I just turned the guitar up, switched to the, to the bridge pickup, and I got... I mean, that's fun, right? I always loved when, when Pete Townsend would, would play that big A chord, you know, it's just from E, A, E, A, E, A notes. He'd play the low E string too, you know? Even though it's an A chord, he'd get that low E in there. Just to make it huge and big and nasty. Uh, I love that kind of stuff. Now, Fender started way back when. Uh, you know, they were making steels. And one of the things that I've done during this, this virus deal you know, being home all the time and stuff, is I got out my steels and I really practiced. And I really tried to learn, you know, what are all the notes? You know, that's the most important thing that you got to know. What note are you playing, huh? When you're at the eighth fret on the, on, on the G string. You got to know that. You got to know all, your whole fingerboard. So I know my guitar, but I didn't really know it on a steel, especially because on steel you use different tunings. Anyway... I practiced a lot, and it was a lot of fun, and I think I got a little bit better. Anyway, uh, I've always thought, this, this instrument here is from 1949, and I always thought that somewhere in, in 49, Leo was sitting home, and he had one of these, and he grew it into this. I just know he did. He was looking at this, and he went, well, yeah, that's a guitar. I can make that into... And so here we are today um one of the, one of the great geniuses of of uh of american life uh leo fender i i wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for him you know uh anyway fender company thank you folks uh check out america ge smith and and leroy bell the whole album comes out very soon and will be available stony hill ge smith leroy bell thank you fender